So what we're doing here is we are reading, uh, we're trying to check if this user is a student or a lecturer. And depending on which one they are, that's the table we're going to read. And we're only reading the places where their user ID is found, which means those are the classes that they belong to. And we just want to show them those classes. This is for the search bar, similar thing. But then what we do here is there are those classes that do not have uh, user IDs already or don't have users already, but somebody has created them. So they need to show up as well. This is what this section does. It just adds those to the list. And then finally, we loop through each one of those and get, um, we loop through each one of those and get the details of the class. Yes, that's what we are doing. And we put those in data. Okay, cool. But what we can do is change all this. So what I'll do is let me mute all of this up to this point. We don't want to destroy. That way we leave a trace just in case. Now, if I refresh this, I won't see a problem because this only works if I am not a uh, an admin. So let me log out as this and log in. Ooh, there we go. Log in. Uh -huh. Attempt to assign property year or no. Okay, so this one is a fault on my part in functions. We're trying to assign year on this thing that, is, that does not exist, right? So we need to check for that uh, before. So if it doesn't exist yet, let's see here. Um, If it doesn't exist, we need to create it. Uh -huh. Okay, so right here, what we'll do is we'll copy this and let me just go to the top here and say, if not is set that, okay. If that is not set, then what we do is we set it. So, is equal to an empty array so it's the same as putting two square brackets like so cool now if we add that then that becomes a problem because now it looks like we are logged in right so this could be uh, a problem uh -huh. now this could be a problem actually because now uh, this is all we do check for. Let me go to the auth here. Let's go to the auth. Uh, where are we? Okay, so authenticate, that's what happens. Uh, logout deletes that. To check if a user is logged in, we just check for this. That's it. So this is insufficient. Uh, user okay all right so maybe what we need to do is add a different uh, item here instead of user let's just call it school year shall we so that is if it's not set then it is set uh, to an empty string and then uh, wait Actually, this is supposed to be an object, not an array, because this is what it is here. So this would have to be changed to object like this and uh, here, an array and then convert it to an object. So maybe this is not ideal. So what we would do is let's change it so that we use something else instead of user. We're going to use, let me select all this and say school year. It's going to be longer, but at least it won't interfere with the login process. So that would be better. And then we need to switch things as well. Where did we use it? We used it here, um, right there. So 
Let me change that to square. Okay. Where else did we use this? Mm, tests, we did. Good thing we didn't use it so many times. Uh, what have I done here? Let me select up to a year there to avoid uh, selecting things that are necessary. Delete this and do school year like that. Okay. So there, what about here? Yes, we did the same thing. This is in the nav view. Alrighty then. Uh -huh. So let me see if I can try to find it anywhere else where it says user uh, that and then year. So I'm just trying to see if I used it anywhere and I'll go and say find find in files and go because this will find in all the files that are loaded here and yeah, searching for that reg using a regex and nothing. So it didn't find anything, so which is good, it means we didn't use it anyway. So we've changed all of them successfully. So in functions here, this should sort out the problem. And then if that is set, that is set, good. Okay, cool. So refresh now, and there we go. So here I want to load, log in as a teacher. So yahoo.com and password. All right, so let's try and see if it works still. 2020, 2021. So that didn't work. So undefined variable data, classes line 84. So let's see, classes line 84, where is that? Right here. Yeah, so the reason uh, things that error comes up is because we muted this whole area to change it. But I just want to see if my... Uh, this part is working but it doesn't seem to be working so let me try again and do 2021 2020 let me go to tests uh, so once i change to another place it um, reverts back so 2018 there it's fine if i go to another place it's 2021 so that isn't working so why is that let me go back to functions and let's see here, uh, switch year, uh, school year. If not is set school year, uh, then session school year is equal to empty object. Oh, here I'm checking if it's not empty. Uh, this is what I do, indicate school year. Okay, so this is fine. School year is equal to year. Uh, if it is empty, then school year is equal to date time. Okay, things seem to be fine here. What I'll do is let me do a show down here of school year. That way we see what's happening in real time here. I'll refresh. There's 2021 there, that's all good. But let's go to 2018 and save that. It's changed to 2018, that's cool. But let's try and go to a different place and it's back to 2021, why? Okay, so if is set, school year, if not is set, so this doesn't work the second time around because it is set. And if not empty, this will happen. If it is empty, uh, wait if it's not empty so it's not empty because it has 2018 so then the year is equal to that and then we set that int get school year empty so on the other page where this is empty then we're going to set it to the current year hmm yeah this doesn't work very well so uh, this should only be set um, if this doesn't exist. So I'll copy this and say if, let's see here, if not 
inside school year um, empty object huh. wait a second let me copy this if this wasn't set once we make it an object we can then add a year to it and then that so that's fine but then if um, if it is set then we'll bypass and come here then change if this change this not empty so yeah this is the part that doesn't that is not required so let's test this as it is let me go back to 2018 oh sorry about that that was a powerful sneeze let me go to mark and there we go so it stays with 2018 which is exactly what i want uh, classes nice and uh, let me change it to 2020 let's go let's go to tests uh, classes okay cool so things are working as planned so let me remove this as well sometimes the logic gets uh, confusing a little bit but we are back in business so the problem now is on classes we still need to fix that let's look at tests uh, math test wait a second if i 2020 these are not 2020 at all so classes should work and then we can go to test all right so since the video is going on too long uh let's pause right here for a second and in the next video we fix the um, we fix the classes with php this part because what is fixed so far is just when we are logged in as admin things work well same for tests if we log in as admin things work they just don't work when we log in as anybody else so same thing here but let's fix the query here first then we can fix the year thing